Alright, this is bugs that I have found on vehicles throughout playing Greenville. Some of them are quite significant while others are pretty minor. And without further ado, let's hop right to the video. This F-150 is probably my favorite trim, the extended bed and the bed cover. But unfortunately, this bug makes me not want to drive it with the rear axle not lining up with the wheel. And it is actually clipping inside the tire as well. I'm pretty positive this glitch goes for the 2017 F-250s. Basically, the rear axle completely bypasses the wheel this time and clips into the tire. On the 2005 F-250s on some trims, if you turn right, the hub actually clips through the wheel, which is a little weird. If you hit the 2005 Subaru Forester a little too hard, the wheels actually become misaligned, which is very odd. On the 2019 Ford Fusion, you can see that the lens is missing from the mirror and uh, it's just see-through. On some trims of the second gen Ram in game, you'll notice that the tires are actually different widths, which is so weird. This is by far the weirdest glitch I've found. So exactly this trim right here, the SV extended cab, if you purchase it, then you spawn it in. It is the complete wrong trim that you bought and the weirdest part, if you sit in the vehicle, you can actually sell the vehicle and still be driving it. I don't ask me why this happens, it just happens. This is hardly a vehicle bug, but I thought I'd add it in here. If you actually change the paint on the Ram 1500, you'll notice that the brake calipers actually change as well. But when you spawn it in, they're automatically defaulted to gray. And you might be wondering why I haven't added any misalignment vehicles yet. There is just too many vehicles in the game that have very bad misalignment and uh, I don't really feel like going over every single one. On the 2005 F-250s, you can actually see people in the bed. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but uh, pretty interesting. On this Porsche SUV, the rims do not load. This goes for the 21.5 spoke gold rim. As you can see, they are not loaded in and the same thing happened to the Ferrari 458, but it did get replaced. Now it's time for the most broken trim of the 2022 F-250. The reason why this one's so broken is because first of all, it is completely lowered and all the other f 250 sit way higher than this one. And the alignment is a little bit off as well, as you can see here. This video isn't supposed to be like criticizing on models or anything like that. I'm just spotting things that I've noticed and hopefully they can be fixed. On the 2022 F-250 Snowplow, the rear wheel kind of sits a little weird and you can tell by that since the axle is a little bit off. This is a pretty known glitch, but on the 2014 Overland Buckaroo, this trim specifically, the Climax, it'll never load in. It'll just say the vehicle's model failed to load, try again, so don't even bother buying it. This is a pretty known bug, but on this F-150 right here, the Shelby specifically with the stripes, the snow definitely doesn't look right. That's because the stripes interfere with it and it's basically a Roblox issue. 